today, the Indian Space Research Organization made its maiden commercial launch of 36 broadband communication satellites on board ISRO's heaviest rock LV N3 N2, 43.5 meter tall rocket with a payload of over 5,700 kgs lifted off from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota a little past midnight today. This launch is significant as it is the first Indian rocket with six ton payload and the first commercial launch by ISRO. 36 one web satellites which is supposed by Bharti Etel were launched by the rocket. The mission happened exactly as we planned on the time. Uh, that itself is a wonderful thing because, you know, uh, making a rocket and getting it ready to launch at the right time is always a challenging task, especially when you deal with complex filling process, testing process. Everything went very precisely and we had no anomaly or observation. The liftoff was majestic. The entire flight of the rocket was also within the expected bounds of performance. It is a momentous occasion for Indian Space Research Organization because now, in fact, Indian Space Research Organization and New Space India Limited are launching the GSLV Mark III, which is now known as Launch Vehicle Mark III along with 36 one web satellites now indian space research organization and new space india limited the commercial arm of department of space launch has in fact placing 36 one web satellites in the lower herb earth orbit the rocket launch exactly now you could see at 12 7 a.m on 23rd of october from satish Dhawan space center at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. The launch is meant to, in fact, carry and place 36 satellites of UK based one web in lower Earth orbit, that is 605 kilometers from the surface of Earth, with a less mass of 644 tons. You could watch the GSLV Mark III, their launch vehicle Mark III, carrying a momentous occasion for Israel. This is the first time, in fact, this contract with World Web is historic milestone for NSI and ISRO as making entry into the global commercial launch service market. This is a very important part of the time for ISRO. You can see that the GSLV Mark III is launched here. It has 36 OneWeb satellites in lower Earth orbit. It will be established in the time of the launch. It will be established in the time of the launch. In fact, the launch has been launched in Sri Harikota, Satish Dhawan Space Center. The GSLV Mark III is the first commercial satellite to carry the mission. You can see that the lift-off was successful. And here, the whole duration will be 19 minutes. The first stage has completed, the first stage has completed. Tell us that this is the duration of 19 minutes, the flight duration. And after the lift off, after 19 minutes, the satellites, one web satellites, will be established in that area. The Nimna Bhush will be established in that area. And tell us that this is a very important time for ISRO, for NSIL. GSLV Mark III has two solid-state satellites, the GSLV Mark III has two solid-state satellites, fuel strap motors, a core state of liquid booster and cryogenic upper stage which has a liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen mix for fuel. GSLV is designed to carry four ton class of satellites into geosynchronous transfer orbit and increase capacity at low earth orbit. Now this launch has essentially opened up the global commercial launch service market for this rocket GSLV Mark III and many operators are looking to build low earth orbit constellations for meeting global communications. Now especially this particular one web is a global communication network powered by, powered from space enabling community to connect various connections for government, business and communities. So we are coming to you for live from live Sri Harikota Satish Dhawan Space Center where we have seen a momentous launch of GSLV Mark III along with 
Now it is known as since its launch as a lower Earth orbit, it is LVM Mark 3 launch vehicle Mark 3 carrying 36 one-web satellites.